Hey guys, so one of my biggest uh, video series is the, the Ideas app. And I want to create a new full stack application with uh, Nest.js as the back end. Um, instead of React as the front end, or instead of Angular as the front end, we're going to use React. And um, actually, before I get into the, the goals of this next series, I, I figure we should uh, scaffold it. Oh, there's a cat now. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I don't have Nest.js on this uh, computer yet. So I'm going to uh, do that. There we go. And this is a, oh yeah, I could just copy and paste. And if I remember, this might take a while. So bear with us. All right, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go look at some stuff uh, for the Nest CLI because it, it has been a while, so let's see what the commands are. I believe I could just do Nest new. Uh, nest new project name, and then uh, just use npm like normal. Is there a schematic somewhere? Uh, I guess not. I'll just uh, figure it out as it goes. So I'll just do nest new, and then uh, I think I'm gonna do an e-commerce uh, project. So right now it's just gonna be nest commerce, and then we'll go into the stuff. Um, actually, like right now. So let's do that. Uh, description the commerce app with Nest.js sure my name and then it's gonna build the thing I will use I'm gonna use npm because yarn has been acting weird on Linux for me so and then it's gonna tell us to go get coffee so I'm gonna go do that oh cool we're back all right, let's just open it up. I'm gonna cd into nest commerce code dot, and it is in a place that's not very viewable. So let's move it over, resize some stuff like that. Add to my. Would you like to add node modules to get ignore? Yes. Why? Why would it not be in there? That's kind of ridiculous. What? Why is there nothing in the git? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> git ignore. Alright, we're in Linux. Uh, this is a node app. Um, do I have anything else I need? Yeah, I think that's fine. Copy. Go over here. Um, oh, right. Dim commands. Um, let's go up. Do that. Control shift paste. Save. And I'll just do git log. Your current branch master does not have any commits. Okay. Initial commits. There we go. All right, I'm gonna write README now. So this is gonna take a while. Okay, so back to what I was saying earlier in the video, I had a lot of feedback for my ideas app um, that I created. And it's, it was actually really helpful for a lot of people because uh, it covered Nest.js when the resources for doing so is was uh, pretty limited. But it's a little out of date now and um, there's more topics that could be covered in it. So that's what I'm gonna try to cover in this application. So uh, there's a reason why I picked e-commerce for the application um, 
content, I, I guess is the right thing, is mostly so that I can get role-based authentication. So in e-commerce, uh, you can sign in as either a seller or a buyer, and I, I feel like I can leverage that. And then the Ideas app um, was using a Postgres database, so is SQL. And here we're going to use a NoSQL database, so a document database, to basically see the integration of that on the other side. Um, so the two things that I didn't do in the Ideas app is testing, which I want to get better at, so I'm going to start exploring that. And also, I didn't go over deployment or DevOps, which is something that I'm also not great at. So uh, those are the two things that is going to be brand new to me. Um, and in the front end, I'm going to do React and Redux with TypeScript, because uh, I like React. And I've never actually done Redux in TypeScript with React. I've only done TypeScript Redux inside of Angular with NGRX. So this will be interesting. And then React Hooks just came out, so definitely going to try to use that as much as I can. And then there's a question mark down here. So server-side rendering with Next.js, I don't know how hard or easy that will be to integrate it with a Nest.js um, server, but if it's possible, I'm going to try to give that a go. And then... Uh, two kind of just silly um, complaints. I definitely don't want to name this app Ideas or have an uh, entity called Ideas because um, Ideas ID became a little bit of a tongue twister for me and that was really annoying. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. All right, I will start coding this and then I, I'll see you guys next time hopefully with the next iteration of this series. Alright, see you guys.